Hi, I'm Ty. In this video, I'll show you how to fly your Inspire 2 for the first time and give you a few very important tips and general advice about flying safely. Remember that when you're flying, safety must always be your top priority. As an Inspire 2 pilot, it's your responsibility to be aware of your surroundings and do the necessary research to learn about local laws for flying no matter where you are. If you haven't already done so, please read the Quick Start Guide and the Flight section in the Inspire 2 User Manual. Trust me, it's important that you understand some basics and fly off safely from the start. The best and safest places to unleash your new Inspire 2 are wide open spaces away from people, buildings, and official no-fly zones like airports, monuments, and tourist attractions. Before you start flying outdoors, ask yourself these questions. Is this space free of obstacles such as trees, power lines, buildings, or areas where there might be people or animals? Is the weather appropriate for flying? If the answers to these two questions are yes, then you're ready for takeoff. Flying is addictively fun. So remember that it's your responsibility as a pilot to maintain control of your Inspire 2 at all times, even if you're using intelligent functions like Active Track, Tap Fly, and Spotlight Pro. Always keep both of your hands on the remote controller in case you need to take action during flight. Maintain a line of sight with the Inspire 2 at all times, and be careful not to fly too far away or behind structures that will block your view. Monitor your altitude. Remember, as a drone pilot, you're now sharing airspace with full-sized commercial and other aircraft, so avoid flying over 400 feet or 120 meters above ground level. To fly the Inspire 2 safely, orientation and compass calibration are extremely important. This is because the direction the aircraft faces changes how the Inspire 2 responds to control inputs. So let's first familiarize ourselves with some basic flight maneuvers. The left stick controls altitude and yaw. Push the left stick up to go higher and pull it down to go down. Push the left stick left and right to rotate left and right. The right stick controls pitch and roll, which is essentially front back, left right movement. To fly forward, Push the right stick up, and to go backward, just pull it down. Push the right stick left or right to move left or right. Remember, fly slowly and steadily at first to get a feel for the controls and the Inspire 2. Now that we've gone through a few basic essentials, it's time to get the Inspire 2 up in the air. Compass calibration is recommended before each flight. Always choose an open area to carry out the following procedures. After turning on the Inspire 2, tap the aircraft status bar in the DJI Go 4 app and select Calibrate. Then follow the on-screen instructions. Hold and rotate the Inspire 2 360 degrees horizontally in a counterclockwise direction. The aircraft status indicators should remain yellow while you do this. When they turn green, horizontal calibration is complete. Next, tilt the Inspire 2 vertically. Repeat the 360 degrees counterclockwise movement. The Inspire 2's indicators should flash green quickly to indicate successful calibration. If alternating red and yellow flashes occur, you might be standing near metallic objects that are interfering with calibration. Just move away and try again. And now you've completed compass calibration. Place the Inspire 2 on a flat surface and wait a few seconds for it to warm up. DJI Go's status bar will turn green and say, ready to go. Now you're ready to fly. If you find that the Inspire 2's gimbal isn't level, simply go into the main menu in DJI Go and select the gimbal icon in the bottom left of the screen and choose Auto Calibrate Gimbal and press OK. If that doesn't work, you can also do gimbal calibration manually by selecting Adjust Gimbal Roll in the same menu 
and then adjusting the level of the gimbal in the gimbal roll adjustment window. The Inspire 2 now comes with two frequency bands, 2.4 GHz or 5.8 GHz. 2.4 GHz is the standard wireless frequency band, and so therefore it can be affected by wireless signals such as Wi-Fi, 4G cell towers, and other types of interference common in urban areas. But 5.8 GHz offers you an alternative frequency band that increases your Inspire 2's transmission reliability. When switched on, the Inspire 2 will evaluate local signal levels, automatically choosing the transmission frequency with the lowest level of interference. However, should you need to, you can choose the frequency range manually. To do this, simply open up DJI GO 4 and in the main menu select HD. Now, in Image Transmission Settings, under Work Frequency, select either 2.4 GHz or 5.8 GHz. There. Easy. Having the extra frequency band ensures a better connection for more reliable control and more stable video transmission, freeing you up to concentrate on the job at hand. One other thing. To get the best flying experience, remember to adjust the remote controller's antennas according to the frequency you select. When using 2.4 GHz, keep the antennas at 60 degrees like this. And when using 5.8 GHz, push the antennas up to 90 degrees so that they are standing upright, like this. We're ready for takeoff. Launching your Inspire 2 into the sky couldn't be easier. First, check the propellers for any scratches or damage, as these could unbalance your Inspire 2, making it less easy to fly. Next, switch the motors on by holding the control sticks down and toward the middle. The rotors will start to spin. Push the left stick up to start to ascend, or use the DJI GO app to take off by swiping your finger. When the Inspire 2 reaches a height of 1.2 meters above the ground, it will transform, automatically raising its intelligent landing gear. Once the Inspire 2 is at the height you want, release the left stick and it will hover in place. The Inspire 2 is an incredibly intelligent aircraft that has three directions of obstacle sensing to see where it's flying. Front facing, upward facing, and downward facing, so that it stops in front of objects automatically and avoids collisions. The same applies when you want to return home with your aircraft. When you press the return to home button on your controller or tap the return to home icon in DJI GO, the Inspire 2 will avoid obstacles in its path as it comes back to you. When landing, the Inspire 2 will slow down automatically, even if you pull the throttle all the way down. As it lands, it senses its height above ground and automatically lowers its landing gear. Wait until the landing gears are completely lowered before landing the aircraft. You can also use the DJI GO app to land automatically. This helps it land more safely as it will detect the ground for obstacles and find the most suitable spot nearest to where it took off. Once you're on the ground, pull the left stick all the way down and hold for three seconds until the motors stop. Congratulations, you've just completed your Inspire 2's debut flight. After your first flight, first take off the propellers from the airframe, press the power button five times, then remove the gimbal and the Inspire 2 will enter travel mode automatically and power itself off. With practice, You'll no doubt be more confident in the air with the Inspire 2. When you're ready, you can start experimenting with the Inspire 2's different flight modes. P mode is the regular flight mode, which includes GPS and GLONASS satellite positioning, visual positioning, and obstacle sensing systems. This mode allows you to activate intelligent flight modes like TapFly, Trace, Spotlight Pro, all of which will go into more detail in another video series. S mode is sport mode and is intended for high speed maneuvers, giving the Inspire 2 a top speed of 58 miles per hour or 94 kilometers per hour with amped up agility and responsiveness. 
S mode allows you to push for faster shots, such as vehicle chases, but it requires a high level of pilot skill. Be careful though, S mode doesn't include obstacle sensing, so make sure you only use it in wide open spaces. A mode is attitude mode. When neither the GPS nor the vision system is available, the Inspire 2 will only use its barometer for positioning to control the altitude. That's all for now. With the Inspire 2 at your control, you're going to take your productions up another level. Thanks for watching.